Hi everyone, welcome to Marika Creations. Today I will participate in a challenge and it's called Craft Your Stash with Nature Challenge. And uh, this challenge is hosted by Sandra at the Schwowin's Nest. And uh, you should really, if you haven't already, check out her channel because there's a lot of good stuff there to check out. And I will leave a link to her channel down in the description box below and also the playlist for this particular challenge so you can check out all the other creations. Craft your stash with nature. So you have to take what you have on hand and also include um, some elements from nature. And I was thinking I don't have a very big backyard, how do I do this? But actually luck was with me as you will see and uh, I have uh, three crafts to show you and uh, yeah just before we dive into it, if you're new to my channel I am Marika and on this channel I do a lot of DIYs, thrifting upcycling of items, renovation of my home, some pottery, some painting, anything crafty really. So if you like to join me, you are so welcome and that you can do by clicking the subscribe button, hitting the notification bell and uh, yeah, let's get on to it. First DIY. I'm using an old box I found in the garage, I'm very dirty, so I'm sanding it off, all sides, inside, everything. Now I'm drilling two holes, one on each side, taking a branch and sand it off nature element here. Painting the box in a matte white colour, two coats necessary. Now I'm painting on some words and it says Maison numéro 1, home number 1 and using a black acrylic paint. Now I'm taking my wooden stick and I attach it to the box using some mute string. I will put some flowers in there and I'm using some styrofoam to keep them in place. And here is the final result. I think it turned out super cute and I like the oversized handle of it. Some faux greenery and some moss. one I'm out in my backyard and look at this birch tree there it's hanging over a cable and we had to cut it down I'm thinking yay nature DIY and I put it up on my wall taking these frames different sizes uh, different colors and I'm uniting them by spray painting them all in a matte black color. And also part of the birch tree there, my husband cut some circles there and I cut them in half and then I drilled a hole in the top of them, one in each of them like that 
put the jute string in there, tied it up, and then I used my glue gun to attach it to the frame. And up on the wall it goes. Hmm, something is missing. Now it looks better. Can you see what it is? Maybe up closer? I used some uh, crystals from an old chandelier and I put them uh, sporadically throughout the tree. It looks much better. My magical tree with pictures of our family, our children and grandchildren. For the third DIY I took some uh, pieces of the birch tree and I asked my husband to carve out a little bit there just to fit the LED candle and uh, took some other pieces and joined them together with some huge string and voila, what a marvellous vignette. So, what did you think? Which one was your favorite? Please give me a comment. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And uh, thank you for watching. And I see you in my next one. Bye.